Well, Sunrise on the road in La Ia this morning. It's a beautiful day out there, but of course the challenge of balancing modernization and preserving a country lifestyle is an ongoing issue, especially along Oahu's North Shore. But earlier this year, the governor signed a bill that will protect 650 acres of prime land from development forever. The $48.5 million deal makes Cavella Bay along the Turtle Bay coastline conservation land. And the discussion continuing in La Ie, where that new 144-room hotel is being built. Critics are worried about whether the town's actually ready to handle the influx of visitors. Plus, it'll forever change the landscape of the area. But proponents say it's good for the economy and is adding some new jobs for local workers. I'm very proud to be working over here. I'm grateful. Thank the Lord each and every day for just being here, providing for our family. And Hopefully bring a, a lot of work to our, our family, you know. After we're done with this hotel, our, hopefully our, my wife can be able to work in here. My dad came down as a labor missionary from uh, Samoa, and then he, he was part of the guys that uh, helped build the, uh, the old Lani Law Lodge uh, hotel that was uh, recently on this spot. I get goosebumps right now. The first day we started here, it was real special. Well, for more on that project, let's hand it over now to Howard Dykus in La Ie. Good morning, Howard. Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, yeah, we're out live at La Ie Point, uh, and I'm here with Eric Beaver, who's uh, is responsible for the local property operations of uh, LDS held lands up here in this area. And so he's been the one who's been watching over the new hotel project. First of all, how is construction going? It's going well, actually. They're about a month ahead of schedule, so. When's the, when's the scheduled opening? Right now they're saying mid-2015, hopefully in June or July. And how many rooms? 143, I believe. When this uh, first started, uh, not everybody was happy uh, of the idea of a much larger hotel than the former La Ia Inn. Uh, to what extent did you work with members of the community in developing the, the final plan, which I know was not the same as the original? Yeah, I think, well, the first original plan was called for 220 rooms. That's still permitted by the, uh, by the special management area permit. Uh, but the, the feeling was to start um, a little bit smaller at 140 rooms. That seemed to be the right model for the investors and the developer. And also it was a four-story hotel. Uh, there was concerns about it being too high. All of us shared those concerns. Um, so in the final plans, basically, we brought it down a floor. So it's now three stories, a little bit smaller. Did that uh, have any impact on the uh, cost of putting the hotel together? It did, a uh, great impact. In fact, that was another reason I think uh, the developers wanted to start with something a little bit smaller. The, there must be uh, an awful lot of people who have uh, families in other places on the mainland or Samoa or some third place who uh, want to come here from time to time for a graduation or a spring break. So I would imagine there's a fair amount of uh, demand for rooms in this region. There is. I mean, obviously with the Polynesian Cultural Center right next door, the number one paid attraction in Hawaii, um, there is already a flow of people that come, visitors that come to the community. This gives them an option to actually stay in the community for another day or two, which is a great thing for our little local economy here. Um, but in addition to that, the university, of course, has its events. The community itself, Laie has been kind of a temporary gathering place through yeah. the decades. Uh, and so whether it's students or missionary families or people coming to the temple, there's always going to be a need for places uh, to stay. And so this, this provides a great uh, opportunity for that. My uh, friends in low places at Turtle Bay tell me that uh, they, they've started to notice a trade in people who are mostly having their vacation in Waikiki, but they'll stay one or two overnights at Turtle Bay as a, as a staging area for this side of the island. I could see where you might conceivably get something like that in this property. Without question. In fact, I'm, I'm sure our viewers could take a look behind us and see uh, the coastline and the beauty of the area. So. I think a lot, there are a lot of people that come to Hawaii that are hoping to see this and experience this rather than Waikiki, as, as fun as Waikiki could be. Right, and if somebody was staying overnight here, they could be here for this beautiful sunrise and the, the vendors and restaurants in this area would not have to worry about everybody from Waikiki all arriving like three hours later after they've driven the long drive. Definitely, most definitely. So this, we're so excited about this. It's a wonderful opportunity for this community and for the people that, uh, that live here. Um, uh, you might be wondering, uh, is it open for anyone to work there? And the answer is yes. In fact, the uh, 
operator already has a website up and they're starting to advertise for jobs. They're looking for local people in this area who could be qualified to work at the hotel. So it's a wonderful opportunity in many ways. And anything that shortens a commute is uh, devoutly to be wished is what I'm thinking. Uh, we'll be back with more question. Sunrise in a moment.